all the existing frameworks you're familiar with, you know, Angular, Vue, Svelte, et cetera, and kind of Angular, I'm going to maybe take some credit here, kind of started the trend of component-based client-side frameworks. They all are essentially the same in the sense that how they work, but of course the syntax and the DX is very different, right? So do you like your templates in the form of a string? Do you like them in the form of a JSX? Do you like them inline together with the code or separated in the files, et cetera? These are all different kind of trade-offs, different uh, frameworks make, but on the, in the heart of them, like at the core of how they work, they're all essentially the same. And what I mean by that is that they really have one concern and that is to just render things on the client. Uh, and that's pretty much what they kind of all do. And so quick is a different thing, right? Quick is what I call resumable. And the best way I can explain resumable is, well, let, let me back up a second. So the existing frameworks that, that we, we have, uh, I call them replayable, meaning that when they are start up on the client, they have to redo everything that the, so if you do server-side rendering, they have to replay all of the work that the server did in order to get them in the correct state, right? And we, we have a word for that, and that word is hydration. And what that means is that when you navigate to a page, you might immediately see a server-side rendered content, but there is some time before you can actually interact with the page. And the problem is the more complicated the page becomes, the more time it requires to wake up. And of course we have tricks like lazy loading, but it turns out lazy loading doesn't quite work here because lazy loading is only useful for components that are not currently in the DOM tree. If a component is in the DOM tree, you have to hydrate it. And that means that even if it's lazy loaded component, you have to load it and then do all this stuff. So all of that means in practice that especially on mobile devices and on slow connections, the startup performance is kind of bad. And Google has this thing called Google page speed score. And they, they measure and they look at different websites and how they do. And they're just trying to kind of push the industry towards like faster, better experiences for the end users. And the Google page speed score it, is not very good for most websites, right? So, and then the reason I'm going to argue for that is because all these frameworks have this thing called hydration. So yeah, I kind of spoke for a long time in the, in the thing and I haven't really talked about quick, but does that make sense so far? I'm with you. Okay. Well, you with us? Okay. Okay. Yeah. 